Welcome to our first presidential debate of 2012 between Newt Gingrich and Joe Biden. Our topic today is fracking. Let us begin with Newt Gingrich. Fracking will bring thousands of jobs to the New York City area and millions of dollars of investments to New York. Environmentalists are attacking companies with no substantial evidence. Maybe they should stop hugging trees and start reading books. We could expect as much from a Republican, a former CEO of an oil company. Fracking is dangerous and don't just take my word for it. Across the nation where fracking has taken hold, there have been numerous accounts of personal and environmental harm. Drinking water has been turned into toxic black sludge. And unless you want to drink some of that sludge right here in front of all of us, I suggest you change your assertion. My, my. More unsubstantiated criticism from the left. Open your eyes and look at the big picture. There are 300 million people in the United States. Every single one of them needs energy. We find a source of plentiful and cleaner energy and you want to criticize it? There is obviously a disconnect between your party and the needs of the people. On the contrary, I would think the party not advocating the chemical poisoning of my drinking water cares a bit more about me and the safety of my family. I understand that natural gas is and will be important to the future of our nation, but there are safer ways to go about this. Our country should mean much more than the money we can make from it. The country is about the people, not the trees. When our ancestors founded this great nation over two centuries ago they used the environment to better their lives. From New York, to Texas, to Wyoming, the means of that improvement has just shifted from traditional means to more modern developments. Natural gas companies are very responsible and their environmental management team is, admittedly, more skilled than our governmental agencies. We should take them at their word for they have the interest of the country at heart. The only interest they have at heart is meeting their bottom line. We have to understand that these companies are businesses before they are people. They cannot be trusted with the public good because the public good does not make them money. If fracking is the way forward then a significant advisory system should be put in place. We need to at least be informed of what these companies are doing. What you're advocating is nothing less than the complete subversion of the capitalist system. The government cannot be involved and a new administration will just mean more wasted tax dollars. There are always these liberals that want to crucify businesses when businesses are the ones holding this nation just above water. More regulation will just be killing jobs. But Senator, these policies are killing people. Real people. Innocent people. They have nowhere to turn. How credible do you think is the democratic system? You look to the government for protection and it turns a blind eye because lobbyists were busy buying up representatives like a Black Friday sale. It is the people that matter, Senator, not the investments, not the energy, and certainly not the corporations. Ultimately, it is the people.